what's up guys and of course welcome to another pokemon wi-fi battle with yours truly and you know it the scarender and we're going against a passerby named rai and i'm not gonna go too much detail about him because it's not the point of the battle it was a very very different battle and uh, let's say it was really fun to begin with and got really really slow at the end of it but really what i wanted to talk about before going further in here was this is definitely my last upload before Omega Ruben Alpha Sapphire when it comes to battles. I have two more uploads. One upload is going to be a talkative video. The other one is going to be a one-year anniversary video, which takes a lot of time to make. So I decide since the viewership of my um, latest upload since Omega Ruben Alpha Sapphire was released didn't really got the um, guess feedback or viewership as I want to, I decided to take a small break instead and work on the videos that I think are worth working on before I'm actually getting caught up with Omega Ruben Alpha Zephyr. And no offense to you guys at all, I'm so glad that you guys who are still around actually watching me. That that means a lot, it really do. It is the viewer that has forsaken me, I guess, that um, really makes me think that I might be wasting my time and I should definitely focus on the things that I really, I really believe would give you guys a lot more to um, yeah to work with or to you know think about and one year anniversary video is going to be something different and i'm going to release that on wednesday hopefully it should be ready by then and the talk to video is coming up tomorrow so other than that let's look fast at the team you see the ou standard stuff with the um, i guess sorark is you you know and braviar is are you and zepto is actually nu and I am using just a um, pretty, pretty cute team. So uh, without further ado, let's go. Yes, I mean that. So since the team was extremely fast from the team preview, I decided to lead off with my Pyroar, which is called Valibu instead of Malibu, so I can se separate them. Uh, Malibu is physical set and uh, Valibu is a special set. So it's a scarf set actually, because I saw Professor No Good use it and it worked really well. Just gonna start with Lucario, so I went for Flamethrower. Doesn't do super effective damage because that, my good friends, are a Sorark. And I just one shot that. So now I knew the Pokemon might not be as invested in the things they should be. So at this point, I just decided to switch out and go right into my Evalora, which is the Anima set, um, Elora's uh, <laughs> Cacturn. So it's Expert Belt instead. And I was thinking, Sucker Punch might do some fair damage. So, um, yeah, no. Not, not, not enough by any means, and this Ice Beam, of course, will one-shot me without a fall. Oh no, I, I, I just can't cope with that. Cacton is so fragile. So Valbu is coming in right back here, and I'm just gonna go for a Hyper Voice. He's still probably not expecting me to be choice or choice scoffed. So that works really, really nicely. Uh, as you saw, they're taking out the Greninja. So I'm definitely, like I said, dominating this guy. And I'm gonna expect him to go for an EQ here. So I'm just gonna bring in my Steelix because. It is the Simper Gliscor, the worst Pokemon ever created in my opinion. It is not gonna do enough damage on my Alpha Licks. It is not as simple. So he's actually gonna go for Protector thing, or rather he's probably gonna scout out what I'm gonna do. And that is really fine. I'm gonna showcase my Ice Fang. And he's going to switch out, but I'm going to expect that. And see this is a good opportunity for me to get some momentum. Because it really, I knew that was probably gonna happen. So, Valis Val is coming in, my uh, Luna Tune, and uh, I basically just went for an Earth Power here because I knew a Flash Cannon seems really, really that time it's gonna go down, but no, he goes for Dragon Pulse. Pretty much wasting a gold opportunity to do some damage against me, and this Earth Power will actually finish this thing off because it was a crit, but still. Damn, never expected that to, to see that in a lifetime and a flash cannon should really have taken him out It was the right investment, but of course it obviously isn't So here's a Zeptile and I know my Wallaboo Could deal with this, but also my Hanipai is probably the snap better So um, I'm gonna go for a U-turn because uh, the Leaf Blade did more damage than I really thought it would So he will actually have speed going for Crush Claw uh, Which is very very terrifying. I actually didn't think the Zeptile would have speed because of the premise of this trainer to begin with, but it did, and I barely lived that. But at least Valbo can come in because he only got the Sceptile and uh, Gliasco left, so I might as well just go for Hyper Voice, getting the stab going, and then see how much I do to the Gliasco. So, like I said, the Gliasco is his last Pokemon, 
And uh, this is where things get ugly. Because I do go for Hyper Voice, almost takes it out of course, and he will finish my Valibu real nicely with the EQ. It can't live that, it is it's not in the range of that Pokemon actually be able to cope with that. So, you know, it's all fine and dandy. I know Valis, my Luna Tune, can cope with it. And, uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, the Braviar left. Sorry for that. I, so yeah, I do go for Ice Beam. Nevertheless, actually, and I do 50% tear. So, no matter, no matter. Sorry, a few turns ahead. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. But really, he will go just for the Brave Bird here. And uh, I'm gonna finish this guy off, of course, with Ice Beam. No doubt in his mind that this is how it's gonna go down. And uh, as of now, I'm really, really cocky. I was thinking, you know, I got this game. It's it's no issue. It really isn't. He only got the Glide Skull left, and he can't take an Ice Beam. So, um, yeah, basically, I was just hoping for him accepting his defeat. You know, I felt really good here because I was using so weak poke and had no issue whatsoever to cope with this. And, well, goes for Protect. Going to stall, and I was thinking, all right, do that, whatever. I might as I'm going to outspeed you anyway. Uh, I'm not going to be able to outspeed, and he's going to go for a substitute, which means that. <laughs> you serious? Oh yes. Oh yes, he's serious. He he is dead serious. He is really doing this, and I can't stress that enough. It's um, it is truly something else to you know when you know you're lost to you know keep doing this, and I have no Pokemon that can outspeed it, which means I'm going to just go to Steelix, showing him that Toxic won't do, uh, but no, he just keeps going at it, and obviously two, two po Poison Heal is enough to create a new substitute, which means that he's just gonna keep stalling me, and really I would start thinking here if if I. You know, break through his PP, which he seems to be his um, his strategy. Uh, I wonder if he'll actually be, you know, DC on me or you know disconnect. And if he'd done that, I would have ripped apart my DS. I can't stress that enough. I really, really didn't want to lose a guy playing like this. Never, never. I. I <laughs> That's just a fucking idiot. And really, I. You know, if you're gonna stall. You have to. You're going to stall because you have an opportunity to win. He has only two attacking moves, or one attacking move, being the EQ, and uh, has the Toxic, which means that he cannot deal with the Steel Leagues whatsoever. And if you know this, do you really, and I mean really, want to do this? So, evenly, my Malamar here is going to be enough to cope with it. His PP is going to run out eventually, which is really, really nice. And Finally, I'm going to cope with this, because this was just horrendous. So I do count the turns afterwards, and uh, until this very point, we've gone through 16 turns, which means it would have ended on the 17th turn. But we actually ended up on the 42 turns instead, which means he stalled for 22 turns, and that is just that's just splendid. And uh, yeah, if you have the opportunity to do this, don't ever do this. Ever, 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 ever forever, ever, no. Ever no, don't do this ever. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. It was definitely a different um, battle for me. And had it DC'd, like I said, I would have ripped apart my DS. You can't let guys like this win. You just can't. So uh, with that, I actually gonna go for a question of the day, and it's gonna be a very very self-involved uh, question. I'm going to ask you guys who is your most memorable Pokemon that I used, and um, you know you can mention more if you can remember more but actually i use a lot of guys here in the in the year that has been and uh, i got my favorites on my own but really i want to see which guys stuck to you guys of course a lot of these things are going to still be around to well omega ruben alpha Sapper, of course when it's going right at it so yeah guys i just let some egoistic thing going i hope you guys can appreciate that and uh, with that in mind, guys, of course, don't forget to leave a like, as always. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care, alright? Mm, bye.